welcome so today we will start the topic of logic and to start with first we will use the definition and uh, what is the proposition so a proposition is a declarative sentence uh, that is either true or false but not both uh, by a declarative sentence what we mean that a sentence that declares a fact let us look at some of the examples new delhi is the capital of india so this is a declarative statement toronto is the capital of canada this is also a declarative statement 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so it is being declared that 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 now either it is true or false that we will see later 2 plus 2 is equal to 3 so if you look at all these statement these are declarative in nature right and for each of them there are two possibilities uh, either it will it is true or it is false now if you look at this statement like uh, what is uh, what time is it so it can't be answered in true or false it is not a declarative statement rather it is a question read this carefully so again for this uh, it is not a declarative statement uh, this is just a command that you are being instructed to read something very carefully x plus 1 is equal to 2 and x plus y is equal to z so sentence 1 and 2 uh, are not proposition because they are not declarative sentences and sentence 3 and 4 are not proposition because they are neither true nor false so here we don't know what is the value of x so I can't say that x plus 1 is equal to uh, 2 is a true statement or false statement similarly here we are uh, not aware about the values of x y uh, and z so uh, we can't make any comment that whether this statement is a true statement or a false statement right uh, this uh, statement 3 and the statement 4 uh, can be turned into a proposition if we assign values to the variables right uh, to denote a proposition we use letters and those uh, are said to be propositional variables right uh, the conventional uh, letters that we use for propositional variables are uh, a small p, uh, a small q, a small r, a small s, right? The truth value of a proposition is true uh, denoted by t if it is a true proposition and the truth value of a proposition is false and it is denoted by f if it is a false proposition. The area of logic that deals with proposition is called the propositional calculus or propositional logic and it was uh, first developed systematically by Greek philosopher Aristotle uh, more than 2300 years ago. Uh, now we are going to talk about something called compound proposition. So we have just seen that what is a proposition uh, it is it is a declarative statement it may be either a true it, a statement or it may be or a, a false statement right uh, by compound proposition what we mean that we are going to use different logical operators uh, and uh, applying those logical operators we can get something called compound proposition so first in this we will uh, learn about what is negation so let us look at the definition let p be a proposition the negation of p which we denote by this symbol negation of p and sometimes it is also denoted by p bar some people also denote it uh, like p uh, uh, is the statement that it is not the case that p right so the proposition negation of p is read as not p and the truth value of negation of p uh, that is this statement is the opposite of the truth value of P right now uh, 
let us take an example to understand this suppose i say that find the negation of the proposition michael's pc runs linux and express this in simple english so first thing is that we have to write the negation of this statement what is the negation of this it is not the case that michael pc runs linux linux right so earlier statement was michael's pc runs linux but if i have to write the negation i will write it is not the case that michael's pc runs linux the negation can be more simply expressed as michael pc does not uh, run linux right so this is just a uh, rephrasing of the original statement so uh, for our convenience uh, if we are not in doubt we can also rephrase the statement to uh, make it look uh, more appealing or make it look better uh, one thing which is very fundamental while uh, we discuss about the logic is the truth table and if i talk about the truth table of negation of p this is how it looks like so if p is the statement uh, then uh, there are two possible values that p can take either p can take either a true value or it can take a false value so in case p is true negation of p is false in case p is false negation of p is true right now <coughs> sorry let us talk about uh, other kind of operator which we are going to uh, use when we have more than uh, two simple proposition so in this uh, Uh, like slide we are going to talk about what is conjunction and disjunction operator so let p and q be two propositions the conjunction of p and q which we denote by p and q is the proposition p and q uh, the conjunction p and q is true when both p and q are true and it is false otherwise so if you look at this truth table that gives you the idea that uh, when it is true or when it is false so if both p as well as q are true then the value of p and q will be true and in all other cases means if p is true q is false p and q will be false if p is false q is true p and q will be false if p is false q is false then p and q will be false uh next in the line is something called disjunction operator and if you look at the definition of the disjunction operator uh, this is how it looks like that if p and q be two proposition then disjunction of p and q which we denote by p uh, or q is the proposition uh, and this is how you read it p or q uh, here you notice that the Uh, disjunction operator is false when both p and q are false and it is true in all other cases so you look at the truth table here here p is false q is also false so p or q is false if i if i talk about other values that it it can take that if p is true q is true then p or q is true if p is true and q is false then p or q is true if p is false and q is true then in that case also p or q is true so one thing uh, that we note here that uh, this or here is an inclusive or in our english language when we use or uh, for example to understand this let us take this example that if uh, someone is saying that uh, this course uh, this discrete mathematics course uh, can be taken only when a student has taken both uh, if a student has taken math 1 or math 2 let me rephrase my statement to make more more sense of it what i am saying that uh, discrete math course can be taken by the students who have taken maths 1 or maths 2 course now in this statement here it is not uh, mentioned that uh, 
a student should uh, take uh, both courses right but uh, just by uh, using the or operator in this context uh, we are also including the possibility that those students who have uh, studied both maths 1 as well as maths 2 can also take this course right so this is how it is uh, different from the usual english language uh, next in the line we are uh, going to talk about something called exclusive or now uh, as it is uh, clear uh, that uh, when we were using the in, uh, inclusive or uh, it was including uh, the possibility that p or q will be true when either of p or q is true and it is also true when both p and q are taking truth value true but in case of exclusive or suppose uh, let us take that p and q be two proposition then exclusive or of p and q which we are going to denote by this symbol is the proposition when exactly uh, it is true when exactly one of the p and q is true and it is false otherwise so you look at this uh, truth table uh, if this uh, truth table it is very clear that if p is true and q is true then also this is a false value that p or uh, q where this or stands for exclusive or is false and you look at this possibility when uh, p is false and q is also false then in that case also p or exclusive or is uh, false otherwise when p is true and q is false it is true and when p is false q is true it is true so we noted that uh, the exclusive or operator is true when exactly one of the values of p and q is true and it is false in the case when both p and q are taking the same truth value like if p is true and q is also true then p exclusive or q is false and when p is false q is false then p uh, and exclusive or is also false